So this is the final video as part of the production processes topic in operations and it is batch production. So what is batch production? Batch production is a method whereby a group of identical products are produced simultaneously. So it's up to the manufacturer to decide how big the batch will be and how often these batches will be made and each batch goes through the separate stage of the manufacturing processes together. So as we can see from the examples, we might have item of clothes. They might be done in batches of designs and batches of sizes. Maybe we've got food items such as bread and they might be produced in batches based on maybe certain ingredients or certain flavours. It could be even furniture. Now, we've seen furniture being used in uh, not only flow production, but also in, uh, for example, job production. But it could even be batch production with regards to uh, flat pack designs and where the furniture, where the machinery will stop and then switch to a ne the next design. So just as a reminder as to what is batch production, it's a method whereby a group of identical products are produced. So that could be, uh, for example, a batch of white bread. It could be a batch of uh, wholemeal bread. It could be a batch of maybe size medium clothing. It could be a batch of maybe size large clothing. It could be a batch of uh, maybe flat pack wardrobes. And then the next um, batch would be flat pack uh, maybe cupboards. So they are produced simultaneously rather than one at a time and, it, and again um, dependent on how big the batch will be and how often these batches will be made is obviously uh, up to the manufacturer and each batch goes through the separate stages of the manufacturing process together so what are the benefits of batch production why might a company choose batch over for example job or flow so one of the benefits would be to begin with is that machinery can still be utilized more efficiently so therefore for example rather than job production uh, machinery can be used in those batches as we can see from all those examples it was heavily capital intensive uh, a lot of automation being used and therefore that helps to save money for the company and it still helps the company to for example uh, benefit from technical economies of scale however they won't benefit as much as for example flow production which is continuously turning out products and i'll go through that when we're looking at the drawbacks the next benefit it reduces the risk of concentrating on one product and allows for flexibility. So, for example, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. What you're doing is you're actually creating different batches. And by creating those different batches, you are spreading the risk out over those different batches. So, for example, if you were a bread company and you, you said, OK, actually, I'm just going to concentrate on white bread. I'm only going to produce white bread. I'm going to sell that white bread. But for whatever reason, maybe customers decide, actually, we don't want white bread anymore. Uh, well, that's going to have a massive impact on your turnover. But by producing different batches of different products, then you are catering maybe for different market segments uh, and different customer groups. And the next benefit, it helps with contingency planning. So if one batch has been spoiled, the cost is lower to discard that batch as opposed to thousands of products on a continuous cycle. So you can imagine, it, let's say a company was using flow production and let's say they, just, they were just carrying out quality control where there was a supervisor at the end of the production line that then inspected the quality. Well, if there was an issue on that production line, all of that, all of those items, all of those products might have to go to waste or they might have to they might have to go through repair. And that can be very, very expensive. But with batch production, because they're only really concentrating on one batch at a time, if there is an issue of quality on one batch, they can quickly discard that, they can correct it before the next batch goes on, uh, well, be ready to be produced. So that can help to reduce, again, the risk involved of production. But it does have its limitations. It does have its issues um, and it might not be as effective as some of the other production processes. So let's look at why. So first of all, there could be errors with the batch produced, which will obviously incur wasted time and cost. So um, when we're looking at all the production processes, this issue, you could talk about with all of them. For example, with job production, if there was an issue and they'd spent all that time producing that one-off product, then again, that is going to uh, incur the, the, that waste of that one product but the amount of time that it's produced if you're looking at flow production as i've just mentioned if there's an issue with the production line all of those products might go to waste and it's the same with batch production if there's an issue with that batch it will still lead to waste but but the waste of all of those products that have been have been produced on that one batch so even though i mentioned it could be a possible benefit it's still got its its risks involved and it still would obviously incur um cost if there are errors Another disadvantage, the product cannot be personalised or unique to an individual customer because it's being produced in batches. 
So therefore, when we're looking at the benefits related to job production and how they could meet the exact customer needs, that is not easy with batch production. And in fact, it's, it's very, very challenging, very, very difficult, and in some cases, completely impossible. So that means that you might not have that as, for example, a unique selling point, and you might not be able to offer those bespoke style products that, for example, job production can. And the next one, and this is specifically for batch production, machinery must be stopped and recalibrated between batches, which might cause a little bit of downtime and it might cause, it might be a little bit counterproductive uh, productive and inefficient. And that, I suppose, when you're comparing it with other production processes, that's the issue with regards to comparing it with flow production because flow production it is just continuous it doesn't need that downtime where it stops uh, but with batch production it does